Hello and welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. So we are at Oshkosh, day two today. And today I'm gonna review for you the Colt. Uh, this is one of the most requested aircrafts, also one that I'm personally interested in. And today, actually at this Oshkosh event, they are launching this light sport aircraft for the first time. All right, so stay tuned, I'm gonna review it for you. Hey guys, so in front of me is Colt. Uh, this is a brand new model airplane from Texas Aircraft. There's a booth if you're down in Oshkosh, come by, check them out. Uh, this is a light sport aircraft. As you can see, it is a high wing. And if you look actually right next to it is a similar airplane, uh, that is Jabiru. Um, and Jabiru has been making those for a while. And these guys are brand new to the market. And as a matter of fact, they're just launching this model uh, today or this week at this Oshkosh event. And this particular model here in front of me is the SL model. Uh, they have another one that's more basic, uh, also comes with a lot of features, but this one is more of the premium model, comes with just about everything you could want. Uh, it does have a three-bladed prop, it's all composite, those blades, the material there. Um, and in this engine bay here uh, they have a Rotax that should not surprise a lot of people uh, for a lot of light sport airplane it is a Rotax engine in there 100 horsepower I'm not sure if it's the carbureted version or the uh, the fuel injected but I'll find that out anyway let me let me go around the airplane for you guys so you can see um, you see here it, it is a high wing um, and from what I've been told this is all metal and aluminum frame so I love that, you know, when manufacturers always think of safety in the design of their aircraft. And that's something that really went into this airplane, you know, uh, in terms of choosing the right material and not just wanting to choose something that's really light, but also something that's safe in case of, God forbid, a bad landing or a crash. Anyway, moving forward here, as you can see, standard empennage. You've got your elevators back here. Uh, the tail, the rudder, just go around it for you. To the eyes, it doesn't look like a fresh new design, to be honest with you. You look at this airplane and you may think of older uh, classical aircraft like the Cessnas 172, 182. Uh, and a lot of these new models, they tell you, well, instead of buying a vintage old airplane, you can get you a nice modern airplane that looks good and flies just as good and also will get you around the same performance as you would in a 172. And the truth of the matter is guys, when you get into this modern uh, light sport, you will get similar performance. You know, a 172 would not take you more than 110, 120 knots. Uh, and you get just about that with these new airplanes. Now, let me show you uh, the interior uh, because I think you're gonna like what you see in there. Now. Actually, before I do that, let, let's, let's go through the stat sheet real quick. So they've got some stats here. Okay, you see, just newly certified. It is a light sport, uses a Rotax 100 horsepower engine. Uh, the, uh, the range on this thing, 607 nautical miles. And you see, this is your maximum cruise speed. This is your standard cruise speed. So you're really traveling 110 knots. That's, a, that's good for a cross country flight. The stall speed is 44 knots uh, without flaps, and you have 38 knots with full flaps on, okay? So those are your standard. Now, let me show you some of the cool equipment in this stand. First of all, you guys know that I am an absolute nerd for a nice interior, and right here, I love that they give you a nice interior. <laughs> you know, the dinges design, an airplane but they paid attention to the sit-in and the space that the pilot is going to be spending a lot of their time and this is really neat in here all fully padded interior as you can see you see the roof line all padded all soft touches okay you see the seats these are leather seating also in the back all padded all right and again this is the SL model uh, the basic and standard model does not come with leather seating uh, even the uh, your yoke here comes leather wrapped which is neat and but let's let's look at the the dash here so all of the models for the Colt will come with a dining at least you get one dining screen 
Uh, this is for both the SL and also the standard model. And then you've got your backup gauges here. Uh, you see the middle console. You've got, actually let's look at this first. Your fuel selector there. And what you love most about Light Sport, you've only got one knob here, and that's for your power. In the middle here, you've got your radios and then your electric switches here. You see the flap switch there. Let's look at the leg room. Okay, I'm not allowed to sit in here because it is a display model, but if you can see just how far down the, the rudder pedals are, and again, in aircrafts like this, because it's a high wing, you're, you're basically sitting up straight, upright, and you should have enough legroom here. Now, I don't know if those rudder pedals are adjustable or not. I'm going to find out, but it's really nice in here. Now, you see all that room back there? This is for baggage. You can almost fit another row of seats back there, but you can rather put about 44 pounds of baggage in here. Okay, but again, I love just the materials used. It's all soft touches. Like you touch this, it's not hard surfaces, it's not exposed. Even the, the floors, see the floor in there? You can see that it's all carpeted and you can appreciate that attention paid to detail. And from here, I can see that these are adjustable. So probably rather than adjust the rudder pedals, you can more than likely adjust the seats instead. And that way, for different height people, you can adjust it to, to one that fits you better. Okay, and as you see, it is a tricycle landing gear. Uh, I don't know if they would have a, a tail dragger for this, but right now, it is your standard tricycle landing gear. Now, let's talk about the price, okay? One thing a lot of people are still a little upset about when it comes to aviation is that it is, it's expensive. And light sport are supposed to be sort of like your entry level into owning an aircraft. Now, this airplane, this particular model, you see here is priced at $165,000. And the standard one, which is back behind us here, is priced at 150. And what you get with this model that you don't get with the standard, you get a ballistic parachute, you get the autopilot, and you also get this nice paint scheme here. Uh, so that's what you get with this model that you don't get with the standard model. Okay, so this, guys, is my review of the Colt. You all have requested that I check out this aircraft. Now, I'm going to go around and browse a little bit more, but I will be back because I want to talk to somebody to tell us a little bit more about this airplane. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button for me. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Mike, and I will catch you on the next video.